Well, there's the 13 chickens. Got three Jersey Giants, two I think are roosters. I ordered all bullets, but I ended up with a couple roosters. That there is a Rhode Island Red, Americana right there. That right there is a Light Brahma. There's two Light Brahmas, three Americanas. And three, two barred rocks, there's 13 total. Here's the coop. Coop is a T111 siding. Barn door style latches. Quick latch. To bring in our It's got walnut paneling walls in here, roost with shelf hangers and a 2x2, two, two. two vinyl vent windows, screened of course, heat lamp, one big vinyl window screened of course, open and closes, the vent windows open and close also, that there's the nest box, I didn't put any dividers in it, floor is actually vinyl flooring underneath the cedar chips in here. This is where I raised them from March on. Chickens were hatched the second week in March. Should be laying here within probably the next couple three weeks. Bottom is all pressure treated. Pressure treated 4x4s, 2x6s, hardware cloth screen going around it. The floor is also pressure treated. I believe three quarter inch ply. I don't remember if I put three quarters or uh, half inch. I think it's three quarters. The only thing it needs is shingles on the roof. The roof is all OSB. It's got eaves all the way around, one by six. It's got two windows to let in sunlight. Those two windows are stationary windows. They're just two pieces of glass. I believe they're 36 inches by 10 inches tall. The coop is based on a 4x8 platform, it's just a hair over 4.5 feet tall on the front, it's got a I think 13 degree pitch if I remember rightly. Everything is pressure treated, I built it to last, the walls are 2x4, 16 on center with R13 insulation in the walls and in the ceiling, the ceiling is also walnut plywood, got a good deal on walnut plywood so I went with it. Walls are walnut plywood, ceilings walnut plywood. Girls are uh, free range, they get very little feed, I throw like a cup of food in there at night for them so they go into the coop a lot better, a lot, the pen a lot better. Here's the two light brahmas, these birds are supposed to get like 14 pounds. I believe those are hens. This guy right here I believe is a rooster, they just started crowing. I got two of these Jersey Giants, I believe are roosters. That one right there is a hen. Just just judging on the, the comb size. The rest of them I believe are all hens. This one right here is questionable. That's an Americana. White Americana, I'm not sure if that's a rooster or a hen. It's got a pretty big comb on them, but not much bigger than the, the two Americanas like this one right here. Birds are beautiful. Bought them from a hatchery down in Waterloo. Like I said, I believe the second week in March. There she is. I'm going to take 500 best off for the complete package. Birds, feeder, water, heat lamp, the coop. I got about 900 in this coop right now and I bought uh, some, uh, not, I wouldn't say used, but I bought some new old stock material like the windows and the plywood wall or Walnut walls, which is actually walnut plywood I bought from a cabinet maker. Got it at a pretty decent price. In all reality, if I was to buy all new, I'd probably have about 1500 into it. Coop's built to last. I build it for, you know, 20 year duration, 30 year duration. I said 2x4 stud work all in there. I got some pictures of the stud work if you really need to see it. Uh, other than that, footprint is 4x8 and it's probably. About seven and a half feet tall tops from the top of the roof to the bottom. There she is.
there's the chickens. They're free range. They come back every day. They wander around, go down to the lake, shit on everybody's driveway and that, but nobody seems to be too upset with it. There's also a roost in the pen. The chickens I had before this, I keep it in the pen all summer long. They'd roost that night on that roost, and in the winter I throw them in there. Now this coop with the R13 insulation, living on the lake right here, that's facing west with the west winds in the winter, 20 below zero with the wind chill. That coop from the furthest point away from that heat lamp still maintained about 52 degrees. No problem with freezing water, frozen chickens, anything like that. I believe you heat it with a candle. It's small, well insulated. The birds are pretty warm to begin with. Any questions, feel free to email me. Got to get rid of it soon, so I'll take 500 or best offer. Be reasonable though, I'm not going to give it away. If I give it away, I'm just going to burn it. There she is, I'll give you a shot of the back. Yeah, like I said, all the windows open besides those two stationaries for the sunlight. It's a heavy duty tarp I bought from Fleet Farm. It's been on there about two years. No leaks or anything. It held out. Like I said, I got OSB on for the roof. I think uh, whatever is the stuff above half inch. What is it? Uh, 9 sixteenths or something. I'm not sure. But completely fenced in. Or hardware cloth in. There ain't no critters getting in there. Everything stapled on with the pneumatic crown stapler, inch and a half inch staples, no way, nothing's going to bust through that. I got a 95 pound boxer that jumps on it and he has no problems with it. That's it. Any questions, feel free to email. Got to get it out of here. Thanks for watching.